Oh hi gozaimasu, Hiromi Sami here and welcome back to my channel and we're going to review not one but two ships available in the Blitz Pass and later in the tech line in the near future. The tier 3 Italian cruiser Taralonto and the tier 5 Italian cruiser Raimondo Montecuccoli. Let's check out how to attain these ships, what their specs are and how to play these ships. The equipment setup will be on the screen since these ships are low tier and don't need tons of detail so let us begin shall we? To attain these ships, starting at the tier 5 cruiser Monte Cucoli, you can get it by buying the Blitz Pads if you reach level 50, which you can easily earn by dealing damage to the enemy ship. The damage you will need to deal to get the Monte Cucoli is 3.4 million. That is huge. And to get Tarlanto for free at level 91, you will need an another 3.4 million damage to get her, which in total requires 6.8 million damage to get a tier 3 ship and a tier 5 if you purchase the Blitz Pass. Before you start crying wargaming why I had to deal 6.8 million damage to just get a tier 3 cruiser, there will be a separate video coming soon where I will show you how to earn these ships very quickly. Without further ado, let's move on to the specs of this ship. Starting at tier 3 cruiser Tarwanto, she is equipped with 7 150mm single barrel guns able to launch 5 rounds from one side. Her unique skill which will be featured for all Italian cruisers from tier 2 to tier 10 will be SAP or semi armor piercing rounds. Tarwanto has the highest damage per shell at 523 for AP and 567 for SAP but does have a slow rate of fire at 9 seconds to reload. But this can be fixed by equipping the main battery modification 2 and her elite ship bonus elite gun operator decreasing her reload time to 8.29 seconds. Her range is the same as Russian cruisers at 9.09 kilometers but launch rounds faster around 4.5 seconds at max range. Her concealment is great at 6.54 kilometers and her survivability is great for a light cruiser. Her maneuverability is good at 27.93 knots in 12.91 seconds, however she turns poor in 8.4 seconds to do 7.68 degrees per second. She does come in equipped with two 533 dual torpedo tubes which per torpedo is 2834 damage which is really good, however in terms of alpha and dpm it is the lowest of all tier 3 ships so using her as a torpedo cruiser is a big no no. Almost forgot, her another elite ship bonus is Escort Specialization, which I would not recommend getting it as you have no A on your ship, you are already fast and your turret traverse can be easily attained by getting the Elite Gun Operator. To play Toronto, you play like a typical cruiser, but your armor is made out of pizza cardboard boxes like battleships that will have a fun time popping citadels left and right. Use your sap rounds to pen basically anyone. You will rarely use AP since you are battle mostly cruisers and destroyers with the exception of St. Louis, Bodictar, and Aurora as their armor is strong enough to half pen or not pen sap rounds. Avoid battleships at all costs as you don't have any rounds to really do damage but your torpedoes and AP at closer range which will be a risky move if the battleship is focused onto you. Moving on to tier 5 cruisers, Raimondo Montecuccoli, she is equipped with 4 dual bail 152mm guns capable to fire all 8 from each side. The damage she can deal is great per shell, alpha and dpm, yet her reload time is slow at 8.5 seconds but can be fixed with her elite ship bonus, elite gun operator and main battery modification 2 to go down to 7.83 seconds. Her range on the other hand is quite short at 9.86 kilometers but still launches rounds around 4.8 seconds at max range. Her AA is decent dealing the same damage as tier 5 premium Russian cruiser Crazy Cram but has shorter large caliber AA range. Her concealment is good at 7.32 kilometers with the addition of having 2 fuel smoke 1 skill which allow her to use both supportive and defensive against enemy ships. Her survivability is second best behind Furutaka but armor is 2 cardboard pizza boxes thick. Her maneuverability is really quick at 36.54 knots in 15.67 seconds but turns poor in 9.9 .9 seconds to do 7.80 degrees per second. You can go faster with her elite ship bonus yet again, Escort Specialization which paired with Propulsion Modification 1, 2 and Refined Diesel to go 
up to 40.64 knots in 13.96 seconds. That is faster than any destroyer in tier 5 with their usual equipment. Similar to Toronto, she is equipped with two dual barrel 533mm torpedo tubes capable to deal a great amount of damage per torpedo but performs worse in terms of alpha and DPM. However, her torpedo range is 8.1 kilometers, which you are one of just two cruisers that can stealthily launch torpedoes in tier 5. In addition, you can reload your torpedoes fast in just 36 seconds. Play Montecupoli, your goal is to escort with your destroyers since you are fast as them and take down enemy destroyers with your sap rounds. Again, you will rarely use AP since you will go against destroyers and lightly armored cruisers. You can use your smoke as a tactical advantage to take down an enemy ship or running away from a battleship. Remember you can stealth torp enemy battleships so you can play safe while your teammates can do the fires and AP hits from battleships. Avoid brawling battleships as you don't have enough firepower and armor to take them down. However, because of your quick speed and battleships are sluggish during this tier, you can play with them by launching your torpedoes from each side and launching AP at their bell to deal substantial amount of damage to take them out. Anyways, that is enough for me for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to shoot that like button as well as subscribing to my channel or on the notification bell to catch the latest World of Warships Sports videos and I'll be looking forward to seeing you at seas next time. Jeanne!